Hello again! You see here a double chest full of coal. Now, you also see a portal. Let's do some portal magic. Just step out and step in again. Let's look at the chest again. And. Ta da! Diamonds! The coal just became diamonds. Magic. Or is it? When you enter a portal, you get a new position in the new dimension, depending on your old position in the old dimension. I guess you already know the formula. If you travel from the overworld to the nether, your X and Z coordinates get divided by 8. And if you travel from the nether to the overworld, they get multiplied by 8. Let's say your new position is this green block. The algorithm first checks if there's already an existing portal in an area with a 128 block radius around your new position. It doesn't need to be a real portal, it just checks for portal blocks. If the portal block has no other portal blocks below it, the distance to the player gets calculated. In the end you land at the portal with the least distance to the player. If there's no portal in the area, things get a bit more complicated. At first, the algorithm decides randomly which direction the new portal should be facing. And just to make that clear, a portal has four directions, not only two. Now it checks in an area with a 16 block radius around us for a valid position for a portal. And of course again it checks here from top of the world to the bottom. Let's say this portal is facing towards us. What makes its position valid? Well, there must be a 3x4 area of solid blocks at the bottom and a 3x4x4 by by four area of air on top. If there is no valid spot, the algorithm tries it again with less restrictions. To be more specific, this time a position only needs 4 solid blocks at the bottom and only 4x4 four four air blocks above to be valid. In both cases, the portal gets created at the nearest valid position. In case there are no valid spots inside the area, the algorithm just creates one at the position we were placed on at the beginning. Maybe with a few changes, if the Y coordinate is below 70 or above 10 blocks below the world's high, it gets set exactly to those heights. Now the algorithm just places 3 by 2 obsidian at the bottom and removes, yes remove like and delete, the 3x2x3 three by by three blocks above. In the last step, the obsidian ring and portal blocks get placed and the player can be teleported. And now you know how my magic trick works. I have two portals in the overworld and one single portal in the nether. Both portals in the overworld teleport me to this one single portal in the nether. But the nether portal only teleports me to the diamond chest in the overworld. Pretty simple. This portal behavior can be used in different ways. You see, you have the possibility to use one portal to get to different locations, depending on how you enter it. For example, this elevator. I step in at the floor portal. I get out at the nether hub. If I enter this portal on the right side, I get teleported to the top portal. And if I go back to the nether hub, and enter the portal on the left side, I get out at the floor portal again. I know it would be simpler to just use a system which only teleports me up and then make a water drop or something, but it's just an example of how you can expand the uses of portals. Thanks for watching and see you next time.